Hey Lord, everybody, welcome back to another episode of HBM Mod. Last time we took a look at, uh, what is this? Oh, all right, we're working on the RBMK, the new one. The very, very interesting design for this that we have going. <laughs> um, get in the pit. You too. Well, both of you get in the pit right now. This is this is where you're gonna be sentenced to for the rest of your existence. Okay, guys, you're gonna stay in the pit for now. Well, I go take care of some stuff. Right. So, today is going to be fuel, covers, and energy. Uh, transit for the energy. Uh, like, you know, cabling. Like this. Cables. Which is going to be a kind of a, kind of a pain, but not really a pain. But it, it's going to be a little bit of work to get the cabling, I think. I think that's the last thing we're going to do. We're going to start with the covers, because it's going to be the easiest. And then we'll work from there. Uh, maybe we'll just put in a buffer and then I'll do the cabling on my own because I don't think that's gonna be interesting It's just gonna literally be me digging a tunnel and finding the best way to hook up cables and And finding the right types to use honestly. We might just reuse the uh, guys from here Where are they at? What they're in this one aren't they? No, they're in this one this one. Yeah, they are in this one these ones We might just end up reusing these the big ones like, the ones that are excessively huge. Well, not really. <laughs> These are, like, average huge. The other ones are excessively huge, but... Eh, not really. They're just about normal huge, too. We don't have any excessively huge ones yet. So we need to make covers for the RBMK, which either need to be made from this, or this. And one of these looks actually cheaper than the other, as far as steel is concerned, and also, oh my, it's boron glass? Boron glass, that, 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 uh... You know what? Never mind. Actually, I take that back. I feel like this is best. <laughs> asbestos for the win. Uh, do we have any asbestos left over? We don't, because we are all out of asbestos. That's really unfortunate. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we'll have to go down and get some asbestos, or just not worry about putting a cover on it. Hey, stop that! Knock that off right now. <laughs> Fortune. Oh, also, I worked. I reworked the mine. So you'll see. These stairs are now. Just a staircase like this. It is the perfect staircase because I can go back up it. Which is now time to find his bestest in the massive cave network, which is actually now full of torches. Thank goodness. I mean, when it didn't have torches in it, it was actually just the worst. But now that it has torches, it is actually a decent place to mine. Still really dangerous and not really fun. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's better than it was before. Before, it was, like, super dangerous, like, you know, the other interesting problem is that I've mined all of these vestas out of the ground, so, that, so we actually don't have any of that left over. <laughs> oh, wait. I missed these two pieces. Maybe more. Hold on, there might be more. No, there's not. <laughs> I gave us five, though, which is more than enough to make what I think we need. Which I mean, it, 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 we need a, we need a few of these, so it's gonna we're gonna probably need more than five. I, I mean, I can tell you we're gonna need eight of these probably, which we have three in storage. So three plus five is probably enough to cover everything. You know, when I made these stairs, I did not intend for them to be an actual pain to jump up, but um, turns out they are becoming quite the pain to jump up. How did I do that jump? That was ridiculous. That one covered so much ground. Okay, up this way, left, right, left, right. That's not even the right direction at this point. <laughs> Make more asbestos concrete. Perfect. Got shoving some more sand. Perfect. Doesn't need much sand, does it? 32 is actually more than enough. I'm pretty sure this will work. And we actually need more steel for these. We need about 18 plus 12, I think, to make all of them. Uh, but we'll also need more, which each of these makes four. So if we add this in, this will make 20. Then we need a... Actually, we don't need more than 20. Because that, that doesn't... Doesn't have to cover the control rods. Um, just has to cover every other rod. If that makes sense. I mean, that definitely makes sense. That's, like, really basic stuff. So all we gotta do is go in here, put these in the ground, cover all of the stuff, and it should be running... After we put in control, a fuel rod. Not control rods. We already have the control rods. 
Uh, also, we need a starter rod, ignition rod of some kind. So that will be pretty simple as well. And uh, from there, we'll go ahead and make one that just is, uh, is, is completely um, designed to not work at all. So we'll make one of those as well at some point. But that is the covering done, the piping done, the turbine done. I mean, the turbine, we just grabbed it from over there from a previous episode's work. So, I mean, somebody told me I need to make use more solar panels in that, and that no. I don't care. 15's the minimum, that's all I'm gonna use. Because you're not supposed to use solar panels in this game. Just, just don't do that. Don't, don't be that person who uses solar panels. We need seven of these or six of these? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them. Okay. Uh, it, it's just me or is the map reset? Hold on a second. Auto map all? Why is the map like this? Did it reset or something? Because I've explored like the entire planet at this point. I've explored a lot of places. <laughs> it, it, it just reset itself down to these two places. Like, what? What is that thing? <laughs> it's a horse, I think. Yeah, we're, we're fixing the map right now. Just, uh... I've not been to this place. There's a meteor out here. There's a couple meteors out there. Well, we need to go out there and check them out, I think. So we're going to start with the uranium fuel rods because they are going to be the least radioactive and also going to be the easiest to put in. So we're going to probably go with those ones first. Then we're going to run some other stuff. And and that's going to be it. Yeah. Okay. So fuel rod. Fuel rod. What are we looking at? We're looking at RBMK. We're looking at RBMK fuel. Okay. So we got some options here. And we need to make a bunch of these today. Thankfully... The meteors are actually really good at giving you this stuff. So we have a ton of this. Just spread about everything in our storage. We can literally make the zirconium pants right now. It, that is actually amazing. We're gonna need lead ingots and also steel. Uh, that should be everything though. And I think the lead ingots are somewhere in this box? Or are they in this box? This box. This box. Yeah, there's only four of them. What? How is there only four? Is there lead powder in here? There is lead powder. Okay, 63 lead powder. It should be split into here. 21 for each stack. Okay, this is it. 29 of these. Perfect. Then we need those. Boom. And then we gotta do that. And then we're done. So we just gotta take those, those, some of these. And we've made the rods. Which we have eight rods. That is a lot more than I need. But, uh, I mean, we can make eight rods if we want to make eight rods. We're probably going to use the extra rod for something else anyway. So let's go ahead and make the actual fuel rod now. Which we have a large amount of options, but we're going to go with, I don't know yet, probably this one. Medium enriched uranium. It looks pretty fun, so I think we'll make that one. And uh, we'll just use these guys. Hopefully it doesn't explode gate, otherwise we're going to be completely ruined, because that that's a big setback. A lot of his best just went into this. Which I would really not lose all of that quite yet. It's a big project, I mean, it's putting all your eggs in one basket. <laughs> and the good thing about uranium is that it's not really uh, radioactive, the fuel rods aren't um, super radioactive, they are just like a little bit radioactive, so it's amazing. The other thing we're going to need is beryllium. For beryllium uh, neutron reflection devices. Or whatever they're called. Uh, okay, we got to make these. Put those in there, make those. And then we can make these into this again. So we'll have three of those. I guess those ones will go on the edge. And then we'll have running into those. We'll have... Uh, what are the other options for uranium? non enriched uranium... And high enriched uranium. What the heck? Uranium 233 is for the high enriched uranium. It's, oh, high enriched uranium 235. We don't have access to those two. So we're going to have to just ignore them. And we'll run non enriched uranium on the other two. Because I we don't have the, uh, the uranium for those yet. 
<laughs> unfortunately. We, or, Thor, or Thorium. We could probably run Thorium. I mean, we don't have Thorium yet, though. It, that's that's why we don't have all the advanced stuff yet. Because we don't have anything for those yet. And uh, another one. And that's all the Uranium ones. Those ones will not start on their own. Which is a reason for making these ones over any of the other choices we could have done. Like Plutonium or whatever. We don't want it starting on its own right now. We're just starting it like this. In the center, we could run a plutonium rod, but we don't have plutonium yet. Uh, unfortunately. I mean, we can get it. It's really easy. All you need is graphite blocks, a drill, and some other stuff, but, um, for now, we're gonna just stick with this. And we're gonna put in a medium rich run, uh, enriched one there, medium enriched there. On the edges, we'll just put these guys in the corners, and then in the middle here, we'll put in one of these guys, just to make sure everything's getting nice and heated up and stuff. Also, that guy doesn't have one of these directly in contact with him. Uh-oh, and that guy doesn't even have a cover on him. <laughs> Which, that, that's gonna be an interesting problem. I probably should have put one on this edge here, because this guy isn't actually directly covered. I mean, it, it should be fine. As long as it doesn't get too hot there, I think it will be fine. But odds are, it's not gonna be fine, and that design is gonna completely blow up. And the turbine's gonna get blown up. Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, we're just gonna go with it. it. It should be fine. Like, there's no way they could go wrong. It should be fine. Right, right, yeah, it should be fine. Just gonna... We gotta make one last rod. It's gonna be beryllium. So, we need to get a few pieces of beryllium for ingots and stuff. So, we need a few of these... We don't have much beryllium. It's actually the rarest thing for us right now. Because we have none of this. We gotta process that through there. So we gotta clear out some of the coal and stuff that's built up in the machine. Hey, hang on a second. What the heck is this? Put that stuff in there. Perfect. So you need beryllium and radium to make the next thing. Which is gonna be the neutron source. Now technically, you don't... Some people... Yeah, I know some people who... Do not like to use these, and uh, honestly, I don't like to use them either. It's just it's just better to use the thing that actually is a fuel and heats up on its own. A self-igniting fuel rod would be better than a self-igniting neutron source, but it doesn't really matter. We can just use these as is, uh, and then it will run. So, I mean, we just need to get this thing up and running. For no particular reason at all, because technically, we don't actually need any of this energy that... Like, we have everything we need, like, already. Like, we don't need more energy. We, we we just don't. Not yet, at least. The only thing we need more energy for is probably the stuff we're going to make in the future. Which we haven't even made yet. And I don't have really any intention of making that until I make this thing. So, why are we making this thing? <laughs> There's no point in making this. Like, actually, no point. Let me take those out of there. And then we'll get started on the next stuff. We're going to turn all this beryllium into billets. And we're going to take those billets. And we're going to make more billets of radium. Check this out. This stuff is kind of radioactive. It's like 32 for this entire stack. I mean, it's kind of radioactive. It could be worse. I mean, considering our armor, though. Our armor is actually just covering it just so well. We don't need to worry about it. And uh, we just need to put in some of it into into shape with this guy. Right. Yeah, there we go. Two of them, 14. And then it's gonna be actually ridiculously radioactive now because it's emitting, um, going from alpha to gamma radiation, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember. It turns an alpha particle into a neutrally charged particle. Okay, yeah, that's, that's gonna be alpha to gamma, probably. Um, just remembering all the time I had. Uh, put this into here and this into here. And we'll go ahead and bring this over to this place. And we're going to shove this one in the center. And hope everything goes pretty good. Because this guy is going to start the entire reaction. So when he's put in, he's self-igniting. He's already going to start running. Everything will start running when I pull up one of these. So we're going to pull it up to 25%. Uh, for testing standard is 25% for both of those. And everything will heat up now. And the steam is going to start going into the turbine. Steam is going to start going into the turbine. Once these hit the point where they build up to the heat that they need to be for the steam. 
So the steam we're making is 100 Celsius. So when these hit 100 Celsius, steam is going to go into that guy. Yes. And if these guys rise above 100 Celsius, then these guys will cool them down. That guy's at 118. These guys are at 104. This guy in the center is at 96. And he's, like, getting super cooled. So, I mean, it's, it's working. These guys on the corners are getting at uh, that number, whatever. Everything is staying at its number, which is perfect. Except these guys are kind of increasing. And if they increase too much, they will eventually explode. So, you need to have some form of, some, some form of cooling. And for energy production, it's actually insane. That is a lot of energy production right there, dude. We're making 48,000 steam. 49,000 steam. We're almost max. We're going to get to the point where we max this thing out if we max this. Okay, let's go ahead and pull it all the way up to 100%. No, I don't want to do that, dude. I'm scared. Just go ahead and do 50% for now. Let's see what happens at 50%. 50, dude. What's 50 going to be like? 50 is going to be ridiculous. It's going to be making like at least a 59,000 steam. 60. What's the heat on these? Uh, 119, 120. What are the rules for these? Um, core temperature cannot pass the whatever that other thing is. I think. Or the skin temperature shouldn't. I don't know which one. Just don't get it above the melting point, really, is the rule for running this thing. So 120 Celsius, it's producing um, a load of energy. It's It's kind of, like you notice here... It's going up and down. It's fluctuating because of these not being, like, super balanced. Like, I'm not super balanced on my steam production, I think. I think I need more steam channels or something around these guys to keep them cool. Or it's just that I'm running steam and not something else hotter. Let's go ahead and raise it up again to 75%. I think I just clicked 100%. We're going 75% should be enough to... See what happens at that point. And it should be 75,000 if this thing is... If we follow the trend of this thing, it just goes up a little bit each time. And this is going to be at 1,100 something. And if we go a little bit higher, I mean, it's... And for the water, the actual steam output is getting taken care of. It is building up a little bit. So I have something to keep in mind. We're going to turn this thing off in a second. Which is... This is nice. A 100%... We will be making how much steam? So at 100% is it's a lot of steam, and then this thing is going to be getting really hot. Um, what about this guy in the center? This guy is going to be the hottest running because he's got nothing next to him. It's 83,000 at 100%. So let's put that back down to zero. Put that back down to zero, and pull out the center rod. I don't know what I had on me, but. Hopefully it didn't blow anything up. And also, I'm going to put this in a box. Real quick. I need to make a box. 